Photography was invented in 1822 when the first photograph was taken. And ever since then, because of photography, our memories have been stored on film. Some of these memories are better than others. Join us as we look at 20 photos that scared the entire world. 20. Phantom Girl of Siberia When museum workers in Krasnoyarsk digitalized local images from the early 1900s, they discovered an identical person in each of them. So far, the mystery girl has been discovered in at least 20 images and four glass negatives, which researchers at the Krasnoyarsk Regional Museum of Local Lore think were taken between 1906 and 1908 based on the condition of the structures in the photos. Most of the landscape images have the girl standing in the backdrop near several lower-class children, or on a rooftop in front of a railway bridge in the Siberian city. After distributing a series of postcards identifying the girl, the museum hopes that locals might assist to identify her, if that is even conceivable, given the social changes that have transpired in Russia since. 19. Paintings and Smartphone Umberto Romano created Mr. Pynchon and the setting of Springfield 84 years ago, depicting a 17th-century meeting between native Americans and English immigrants in Massachusetts, but also including what appears to be a cell phone. Obviously, the picture portrays something from the 1600s, and the artist created it about a century ago, thus it cannot be a cell phone. Art historians speculate it could be a mirror, a Bible, or a blade, but some believe artists retained secret knowledge of technology, discreetly passing it down for years and concealing it in art. It may sound unusual, but a phone has already appeared in an antique picture. Apple CEO Tim Cook once acknowledged to spotting an iPhone in Peter DeHooch's 347-year-old piece, Man Hands a Letter to a Woman in a Hall. Cook was taken aback when he viewed the Dutch master's piece at an Amsterdam museum, saying he had always assumed he knew when the iPhone was invented, but was no longer certain. Because the name of the artwork implies that it is a letter, it is improbable that it is a cell phone, but who knows? In our thumbnail, we can see a few creatures flying in the sky. Are these aliens? aliens or just a few crazy humans trying out the latest trampoline? Why don't you let us know what you think in the comments below? 18. The Parquet Forestal Alien Alien hunters believe the image in this video is proof that extraterrestrials are visiting Earth. Civil engineer German Pereira captured the image of a little being at the Parque Forest in Santiago, Chile, while photographing police officers on horseback. UFO hunters claim the image clearly shows a small humanoid moving across the road behind the mounted police. The photo is quite clear, and the small creature is easy to spot. And even though it looks like an alien, it could be so many other things. Skeptics argue that the image is simply an example of pareidolia, a phenomenon in which the brain tricks the eyes into perceiving familiar objects or forms and textures or patterns, such as clouds or the surface of rocks. Some people said it was a blurred moving dog, which makes more sense to 17. The Madonna with St. Giovannino There is one painting in Florence's Palazzo Vecchio's Loser Collection, that never fails to captivate visitors who come to see it. The Madonna with St. Giovannino is the title of this painting. People are perplexed by the strange object floating in the sky, which was painted in the 15th century by Domenico Ghirlandaio. According to alien theorists, it clearly depicts an extraterrestrial object. In the background, just above the Madonna's left shoulder, is an oval-shaped object, and beneath it stands a man who appears to be looking up at the strange shape in the sky while his dog appears to be barking at it. A plethora of bright light beams are emitted from the suspected UFO, which appears to be a substantial structure, and this is what convinces some people that the shape is a flying saucer. To please the pious and potential purchasers of their artworks, many artists inserted symbols and random pieces of iconography into their works. Gerlandayo's object here could simply be his interpretation of an angelic presence or a depiction of a brilliant star, as there is a depiction of the nativity star on the left of the painting. Who knows, it could be an ancient and now forgotten piece of Christian iconography. 16. The Ghost of Freddie Jackson In 1919, near the end of World War I, an image of Victor Goddard's RAF squadron was taken. On that day, all the squadron staff were present, except for air mechanic Freddie Jackson, who had died a few days before. Surprisingly, he appeared in the shot. An extra ghostly face appears in the photo behind the airman in the top row, fourth from the left plainly visible in the face of another man. Maybe Jackson, unknowing of his demise, opted to attend the group photo. Even today, no one knows how the dead man's face emerged in the photograph. 15. Billy the Kid Playing Croquet Billy the Kid was an American outlaw and gunfighter from the Old West, who is said to have killed 21 men before being shot dead at the age of 21. He is also noted for his involvement in New Mexico's Lincoln County War, which he is accused of murdering three people. But did you know that he may have been an avid croquet player? In a recently published photo, Billy the Kid is seen fourth from the left, looking just like his classic photograph, even wearing the same top hat 
except instead of a rifle, he is holding a croquet mallet. While it may appear weird to see Billy the Kid participating in a sport more appropriate for garden parties than the frontier, it makes more sense given that the photograph was shot at the ranch of his late boss, John Tunstall, who was an Englishman. The historical significance of an image of Billy the Kid with known members of his gang and important Lincoln County folks is immeasurable. This is possibly the most riveting piece of Western Americana we have ever seen. 14. Time Traveling Hipster You've probably heard of the urban legend of the time traveling hipster. It is based on an image that has been circulating on the internet for several years. Everything began with a black and white photograph taken in 1941 in Goldbridge, British Columbia. It depicts the crowd gathered to celebrate the reopening of the South Fork Bridge. The image depicts exactly what one would expect from a group of respectable citizens in 1941. Men are dressed in coats and ties, while women are dressed in formal hats and sturdy overcoats. Except for something just right of center, nothing looks out of place. One of these enthralled individuals is dressed differently than the others. His clothing is not only less formal than the rest of the groups, but it also appears to be from another era. He's wearing what appears to be a printed t-shirt and strangely hip sunglasses. He appears to have left a Depeche Mode concert in 1990 and walked onto a bridge in British Columbia in 1941. Some consider the photograph to be proof of the reality of time travel. What is the significance of the hipster in the photograph? Is he proof that time travel is possible? Is he a Photoshop illusion? Is this all a misunderstanding? There is an explanation for this misplaced hipster, it turns out. Unfortunately, it isn't as exciting as time travel. The camera, his haircut, and the edgy sunglasses that set him apart from the crowd were all available to everyone in 1941. Even his t-shirt, which appears to be printed but is a sewn-on logo, was from the Montreal Maroons, a popular sports team at the time. The hipster stands out not because he went back in time, but because he made different choices than the people around him, allowing him to stand out from the crowd. 13. Solway Firth Spaceman On a beautiful summer day in 1964, a firefighter captured a photograph of his daughter that made headlines around the world. They went on a normal outing and chose a location, sitting down, so dad could photograph his daughter in her new dress. Following the photograph, the father noticed a white suit, a helmet, and a dark visor standing behind his daughter. He thought he had captured a photograph of a spaceman. Apart from his wife, Annie, and two pensioners in a car, the Carlisle fireman claimed he hadn't seen anyone else on Berg Marsh, which overlooks the Solway Firth in Cumbria. It wasn't until the chemist who processed his photos pointed out that the shot had been ruined by a figure when he realized someone, or something else, had been present. This is when he took it to the police, who said there was nothing unusual about it. Kodak, the film company, said the same thing and even offered a reward to anyone who could prove the photo was a forgery. It was never asserted. However, a media frenzy quickly ensued. Some claimed it was a spirit, while others claimed the father or his daughter possessed psychic abilities they were unaware of. It kept getting weirder and weirder. Then two men in black arrived and asked to be taken to the location where the image was taken, referring to themselves only as number nine and number 11. All of this could be described as unsettling for the father. Back in the 1950s and 1960s, there were a few grainy stills of extraordinary events. People were much more taken aback and willing to suspend their disbelief. It's one of the most impressive anomalous images in supernatural investigations, in my opinion, and it'll be talked about for another 50 years. 12. Dyatlov Pass Incident The Dyatlov Pass Incident occurred between February 1st and 2nd, 1959, in the northern Ural Mountains, when nine Soviet hikers died under unknown circumstances. Something happened overnight that caused them to cut their way out of their tent and flee the campsite, despite being unprepared for the heavy snowfall and sub-zero temperatures. After the bodies were discovered, a Soviet investigation determined that six of them died from hypothermia, while the other three died from physical trauma. One victim suffered severe skull damage, two suffered severe chest trauma, and another suffered a small crack in his skull. The deaths were caused by a compelling natural force, according to the investigation. Animal attacks, hypothermia, an avalanche, catabatic winds, infrasound-induced panic, military involvement, or some combination of these factors have all been proposed as explanations for the unexplained deaths. 11. The Beach Time Traveler A remarkable photograph from nearly a century ago has raised questions about the possibility of time travel. Last Picnic shows a group of parents and children sitting on a mound in Canada in 1917. Women are wearing long skirts, while males are dressed in blazers and bowler hats. What attracted people's attention, however, was a man who bore a striking resemblance to someone from the 20th century. He stands out from the throng, clothed in a large t-shirt and shorts, with a messy hairdo. The surfer man, as some have dubbed him, perplexes everyone around him. A man to his left looks shocked, while a woman on the other side points at him. Certain scholars claim that t-shirts existed at the time and that they entered the common lexicon soon afterward 
appearing in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary in the 1920s. Given that the other guys in the picture are also dressed in shorts, I'm gonna say he's not a time traveler. Other than Bill and Ted, who would believe that a t-shirt and shorts are the greatest thing to wear when time traveling into the past? 10. Patterson Gimlin Bigfoot Proof of paranormal claims will always be demanded by both skeptics and believers. But what happens when extraordinary, and thus contentious, evidence is presented? We have an answer to one of the most popular and enduring cryptid legends, that of North America's Bigfoot or Sasquatch. Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin were about 10 days into a horseback riding trip near Bluff Creek, northwest of Orleans, California, on October 20, 1967. Patterson had heard of Bigfoot sightings in the area and hoped to capture some footage with a 16mm motion picture camera. Patterson got his wish around 1.30 p.m. that day, and much more than he bargained for in the long run. As the pair rode around an upturned tree stump, they noticed a massive, ape-like beast quickly walking away from them. Patterson managed to start filming while running towards his startled and fallen horse, capturing nearly one minute of an unexplainable creature who has since been affectionately nicknamed Patty. As a result, a film clip was created that has been scrutinized almost as much as the Zapruder film and has become the iconic image of what the public imagines when they think of Bigfoot. Attempts have been made to call Patterson's character into question, and thus the likelihood that he would stage this encounter. However, this strategy does not address the core issue and does not provide an answer to the question, what exactly is that creature in the film? The Patterson-Gimlin film has never been satisfactorily debunked, which is why it remains a contentious topic to this day. There there are only two logical conclusions to be drawn from the film. It is either one of the greatest hoaxes of all time, or it captured a Bigfoot. 9. The Levitating Man Colin Evans, a spiritualist, drew large crowds by claiming to be able to levitate with the help of spirits. Unfortunately for Evans, and those who paid to see him, he was later revealed to be nothing more than a fraud. The spiritualist would hold seances in large rooms and halls on a regular basis, attempting to communicate with spirits, conveying messages from them, and demonstrating their existence through supernatural acts. He would request that the room be completely dark, with the audience chanting around him as he attempted to contact the other side. During one of the first seances, held in 1937 at Wortley Hall in London's Finsbury Park, Evans took a photograph of himself allegedly levitating, claiming that the spirits in the hall had lifted him out of the chair he had been standing on. The audience was none the wiser, as he could allegedly be seen levitating during the blinding light. He appeared to be floating in mid-air during the flash of light. Many people who were skeptical before the stunt were now convinced. To them, there was no other way to describe how Evans had been suspended high above the ground at the time. With photographic evidence showing his feet no longer touching the chair and his body rigid and floating floating in midair. Some previous skeptics remained skeptical, pointing out that in all the photos of Evans seemingly levitating, he was holding a cord that ran out of his left hand. With suspicions raised, it was also noted that his feet appeared to be slightly blurred in almost every photo. This was the case with a photograph taken in 1938, when Evans allowed the newspaper to set up a camera in London's pitch-black Conway Hall. As he pressed a button at the end of the wire to turn on an infrared light and expose the photograph, the cord was once again clearly visible. Other magicians claimed that his blurred feet were evidence that he had simply been jumping out of chairs rather than being lifted by spirits. They were correct. Evans was exposed as a fraud after it was discovered that he had jumped high into the air to fool audiences into believing that something supernatural was taking place, with the darkness assisting in ensuring that no one could see what he was doing. 8. Fresno Nightcrawlers The Fresno Nightcrawler story begins with a barking dog. In 2007, a Fresno resident named Jose decided to install a camera in his garage to see what was causing his dogs to bark every night. To Jose's surprise, his cameras did not capture any wild animals or intruders, but rather something that appeared to defy explanation. The grainy video appeared to show a pair of white pants gliding across his front lawn. Jose, perplexed and terrified, began sharing the footage in the hopes of finding an explanation. He gave it to Univision, as well as paranormal investigator Victor Camacho, the host of the Spanish-language supernatural show Los Desvelados, which translates as The Sleepless Ones. Though no one knew what had slunk across Jose's yard, it wasn't long before another Fresno Nightcrawler sighting occurred. Security cameras in Yosemite National Park appeared to capture the same phenomenon in 2011, something that appeared to be pants creeping across the park. What is the Fresno Nightcrawler exactly? Many people have theories about this mysterious California cryptid, though no one knows for sure. Many people have attempted to debunk the Fresno Nightcrawler myth, but none have been successful. 7. The Cooper Family Photo According to legend, when the Cooper family moved into their new home, this was the first snapshot taken. When the image was processed, it plainly showed a body descending from the ceiling. However, further inquiry into this topic provides no additional information, prompting many to assume it is simply an image deception or fraud. It is unclear where the photo came from or when it first appeared.
6. SS Watertown Faces The SS Watertown ghost faces are among the most renowned ghost pictures ever captured. What happened to the sailors in the shot, and can the image be trusted? The SS Watertown was an oil tanker that transported essential oil supplies across the Pacific. In December 1925, the SS Watertown was delivering goods across the Pacific Ocean. Two of the ship's crew members, Seaman James Courtney and Michael Meehan, were dispatched down to the inside cofferdam to do cleaning and repairs. They were unaware that a toxic gas was flowing into the area where they were operating. Unfortunately, the fumes overwhelmed the two men. The day after the men died, shortly before sunset, crew members were taken aback when two faces appeared in the water behind the SS Watertown. The ghostly faces in the water appeared to be those of their recently deceased crewmates, Courtney and Meehan. The faces reappeared in the sea several times throughout the following weeks. The crew even managed to get a photo of them. Do you think the ghostly faces by the SS Watertown were real or just a hoax? Let us know in the comments below. 5. The Mysterious Babushka Lady The Babushka Lady is an unidentified woman who was present during the 1963 assassination of U.S. President John F. Kennedy and may have photographed or filmed events in Dallas's Dealey Plaza at the time President John F. Kennedy was shot. Her moniker was derived from the headscarf she wore, which resembled scar scarves worn by elderly Russian women. She crossed Elm Street and joined the crowd ascending the grassy knoll after the shooting. She was last seen walking east on Elm Street in photographs. She and any film she may have taken have never been positively identified. 4. The Ghost of Hampton Court Believing you've seen a ghost is one thing. Capturing it on CCTV is another, especially if you suspect it's Henry VIII's spirit or one of his ill-treated wives. That's exactly what happened in 2007 at Henry VIII's famous Hampton Court Palace, where security personnel got the scare of their lives. The 16th century palace is well known for purported hauntings, and in December 2003, reports circulated that security had captured some Something on CCTV. It all began when security guards noticed fire doors. They thought were closed but were left open. When the doors were flung open for the second time, the guards spotted a spine-chillingly eerie sight of someone dressed in an historical costume waiting in the entryway. Many ghost and spirit sightings have been reported at Hampton Court over the years. It's not unexpected given that it was the house of Henry VIII, who is known to have executed two of his own wives. 3. Black Knight Satellite Conspiracy It has been 120 years since conspiracy theorists believed the presence of the Black Knight was, in fact, true. Those who believe in the hypothesis claim to have discovered an extraterrestrial spacecraft in near-polar orbit around the Earth, but their evidence is so varied that it's unclear why they're linked. What they amount to is a fascinating mix of elements that, when combined, prompt people to cry aloud about potential NASA and government cover-ups. In that sense, it is a tale that will not go away. Many of the early discoveries associated with the Black Knight satellite theory involve radio waves. However, a sequence of pictures from 1998 emerged that truly tossed the heavenly cat among the pigeons. They were taken during STS-88, the first space shuttle mission to the International Space Station. NASA's photographs of a black object hanging over the Earth in low orbit were visible to everyone, and it wasn't long after the photographs were displayed to a hopeful audience that people began making conspiratorial calculations and shared them with the rest of the world. 2. Moon Pyramids A pyramid has been sighted on the moon, and conspiracy theorists believe it was built by the same entity that built Egypt's famed pyramids. Alien hunters have gone into a frenzy after discovering a pyramid shape in a massive crater on the moon. The structure appears to be three-sided and man-made. So, the issue remains. Is this conclusive evidence that the pyramids of Egypt were built by aliens from our moon? Anything is possible. It's not the first time a moon-like structure has been discovered on the lunar surface. Some conspiracy theorists believe aliens could occupy the moon, which is why NASA has not returned since the Apollo missions ended in the 1970s. They assume that this pyramid and other anomalies were erected by an ancient alien culture in the same way that Earth's pyramids and other buildings were. However, skeptics and NASA claim that the pyramid and other similar finds are just the result of pareidolia, a psychological phenomenon in which the brain tricks the sight into seeing familiar objects or forms in patterns or textures such as a rock surface. 1. The last photo at the Eileen Moore Lighthouse Lighthouse keepers James Ducat, Thomas Marshall, and Donald MacArthur recorded the last entries on the slate at Flannan Isle Lighthouse on December 15, 1900. They vanished shortly after and were never seen again. The men must have left the lighthouse for some reason, probably to secure gear or to find out what damage had been done at one of the landing places and were caught by an unexpected large roller and swept into the sea because of the very bad weather on the island. Most of these were awesome and mysterious, but those Watertown ghosts were mind-boggling. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun.
Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you next time.